Uh, hey there, you call me taking a sip of water. Um, if you're watching this video, maybe you're doing some research on Athens, Georgia, trying to find things to do, and uh, you found us on Google or YouTube. I am Scott Talley. I'm the broker of our company, uh, Five Market Realty, and our YouTube channel, which has Homes for Sale in Athens, Georgia, which if you look at the bottom of your screen, there's a subscribe button. If you want information on real estate updates, if you want information on homes for sale, condos, investment properties, and general stuff that's going on in our community, if you subscribe, you'll get updated when there's a new video giving out information. So go ahead and do that. But this video today is about the top 10 things to do or what to do in Athens, Georgia. So um, long list that you can come up with. So if you do live in the community and you uh, disagree with our top 10, that's fine. Leave a comment below and tell us where we got it wrong. But we're going to do it a little different. I'm going to kind of do a map video to go over some things, recording my screen to show you where to go. And uh we're going to start with number one and work our way to number 10 instead of reverse. So let's get started. The first thing that Athens is known for, probably the biggest, is where we are right here on the map, as you can see, Sanford Stadium. So UGA football in the South is a big deal. It's a big deal in Athens, it's a big deal in the state of Georgia. SEC football is a big deal. Keep in mind, if you're not a football fan, there's a huge part of the Athens community that does not go to these games. But I really feel like when 90,000 people come into town to uh, to see a football game that's probably the biggest event that we have um in our community georgia just won a national championship in 2021 so we're our football team here is a very relevant thing in that sport and as we go to down the list you'll see there's other things about uga not just football related that are great and things to do on the list so number one uga and then we're going to come up here on the map a little slowly so i don't blur it too much right down from uh the stadium is what's going to be our number two thing to do, which is downtown at night out in downtown Athens. In downtown Athens is this area right here. You can see there's the UGA arch, which is the entrance to campus, North Campus. And then all this area right here that really runs from almost Newton Street or Pulaski Street to Thomas Street, Daughtery. This is the inner, inner circle of what's considered traditional downtown. Now, it has expanded a little bit. There's some areas over here, but there's a lot to do here. First, basically live music. I'll pop here on the Georgia Theater. That's one of our really well-known venues. Athens is known for music, drive-by truckers, a widespread panic, REM, B-52s, the list goes on. If you come to Athens, you should probably pop in one of these venues and just see who's playing. Sometimes uh, we also are building an amphitheater downtown. It's going to attract larger acts. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the 40 watt. I just don't have it earmarked on here. That's a great venue for live music. But really, so many of these bars are. And if we zoom in a little closer, the other thing to do downtown is eat. Eating and is great. I mean, we have so many great restaurants. Let's stop here at Last Resort. That is probably most well-known restaurant because it's just been around so long. Delicious food, well-known, um, always has a good brunch and a good dinner. Right across the street, we got two good restaurants. If you look at Trapeze, Trapeze is excellent as two, and it's right by Five Bar. You might want to check out the National. The National is also in this part of town, really highly rated area to, to place to go eat. Other restaurants you might want to go, South Kitchen. I don't want to leave anybody out. De Palmas. I know I'm leaving somebody out that I'm not thinking of, but there's just great places to eat in downtown Athens. So number two is a night out. And then I kind of alluded to this too already. We're just going to go ahead and say live music in town, anywhere. Ath Fest would be a great thing to think about. Remember when I mentioned the Georgia Theater? That's number three. Let's just go ahead and say live music anywhere in town. You can find this in many of the bars that you go to down there. You might find this uh, through other festivals like Twilight Criterion that will be on this list. And, of course, Ath Fest, which is every June. And, um, you know, that leads us right back into time to stay in the top 10, eating out. Now, I did this already downtown. I mentioned some restaurants about the National Let's talk about a few other places that aren't in downtown. So you've already got a blur for a lot of great places, but there are so many places to eat in Athens. Here's one I can think of right here, Cali and Tito's. This is a great Cuban place that's got, well, excuse me, has a great Cuban sandwich. And uh, it's very popular. It could be BYB, you can bring a cooler beer and sit out on Lumpkin right by the university. Five and 10, Grindhouse, good place to check out burgers, but five and 10 in the Five Points area, Hugh Atchison, really well-known chef. Delicious restaurant that uh, people love. I'm also going to come here and mention two other places. The Expat. Expat is right there on Lumpkin Street. Personal favorite of mine. Um, they're also going to be opening a steakhouse right there in Five Points. So uh, eating in Athens, bar food is good. You know, you have great restaurants and things that are unique to Athens. 
uh, downtown. I really think that, that that should be something you should plan your day around is maybe going to Mama's Boy and checking out things like that. Um, the next thing we would probably say number five is a big deal. Every April, we have the Twilight Criterion Race, which uh, is a race downtown. If you remember on the map, I'll come back here a little bit for you. And uh, we're back here in the traditional part of downtown. They're going to race the streets at night during downtown. So as you can see, this uh, 2023 is going to be the next one. It's going to be April 23rd, 21st. The whole day is an event for the family. Like The kids can go do bike races in the morning. My children did it when they were little. It's fun. And then by nighttime, it really kind of turns into, as you can see, this is a pretty vibrant scene here where you've got beer gardens and the bikes are going through the street fast. It's nighttime. It's a really fun event. It's actually the night is like an anniversary to me and my wife because we bumped into each other at this event. And 10 years later, we have a family together. So it's a big one to me. Um, number six, the beer trail. So you may not know this, but Athens has a ton of great local breweries. I'm going to go back to the map for a second here, and I want to show you one of these, Creature Comforts. So that has become a very well-known popular brand. It's even featured in uh, Marvel's Avengers movie. I think it was Endgame. Thor was drinking uh, Creature Comforts, and uh, in Athens, we're quite proud of that. But um, the beer trail is something that's fun to do. I mean, you can see this website up here, visit AthensGA.com. Basically, you get some stamps and you go around the breweries. It's a great way to spend the day in Athens. Uh, Uber is a great thing to call as well. Um, number seven, what would be another great thing for you to do? Let's go back to this map. And I want to get back to this five points here. So if you look here, you can see the University of Georgia is right here. We were at Sanford Stadium to begin with. But right here is Foley Field. And Foley Field is UGA baseball in the spring. It is one of the best things to do with your kids. You can make a really good day of it. Because if you see where Foley is right here, it's not far from Cali and Tito's, which is a great place to eat. It's not far from Marker 7 Grill, which is another great seafood place. Excellent fried shrimp. Uh, you know, they've got uh, little games on the front that the kids can play right at the corner of Five Points. You can grab something to drink at the Root, uh, eat at the Pine, which is right there above the Root. And, of course, I mentioned the World Peasant. That's one of the best burgers in town. Excellent food. And so, really, you can kind of make a day in the Five Points area and then go to, a, you know, a baseball game. And that kind of leads us into what would be number eight, which I would just say other UGA events. So right here is Stegman Coliseum. So what goes on here? You know, we obviously have basketball right now. Georgia basketball is for the men's side is not very good. The women's team is always very good. Uh, women's softball, uh, soccer. Another thing people forget about that are gymnastics fans. Uh, UGA Gymnastics, Women's Gymnastics has, has been a fantastic program. It's right here in Stegman. It's a great event to go see. Those are always stuff going on at UGA. Um, almost all the time, that could be various things that you could learn or just go do um, associated with that. Now, one of the other things, this is sort of towards the end of the list where people might start disagreeing with me, I guess. I'm going to come on down here and show you the Botanical Gardens. Um, the Botanical Gardens are a gorgeous place. And here they are right here off of South Village Road. So um, this is a great place to go during Christmas time. They're going to have a, a light program that you can go see that's excellent for the kids. It's also just a good thing to go walk and do at any time of year. It's really, uh, I probably don't do it enough. It's a gorgeous place, and it's something you should definitely take a look at. Now, we're going to end it on number 10. It's going to be kind of two things. Should take you over here to Porch Fest and the Wild Rumpus, which I'm going to kind of group together because they're both in October. Porch Fest is this great festival. You can see right here, October 2nd coming up. Basically, it's a neighborhood area of town around Pulaski Heights Boulevard kind of area where there's a lot of just people out in the streets. There's going to be bands, uh, music playing, really fun to do. October in Athens, hard to beat. Maybe our best month, quite frankly. And then um, Wild Rumpus is also in October. It's around Halloween. It's downtown. Dress up, wear your Halloween costume. Um, you know, it's fun for the kids, but there's also going to be some people down there in some scary costumes. So keep that in mind if you go to the Wild Rumpus. But I um, want to give a few shout outs to a couple other things that we'll just kind of mention. Um, you know, we uh, I'll sit there. Farmer's Market is something great at Bishop Park to check out if you haven't before. And if we look at this map, I'm going to kind of show you Memorial Park. Right here, Memorial Park has a dog park. It has a Birchmore Trail, which is where a great place to go walking. Um, right in the middle of town, you can kind of get into the woods and sort of feel like at times, you're just not in the middle of the city, and it's a really nice thing to do on a great weather day. Take your dog for a walk. Take the kids for a walk. Um, Firefly Trail, also a good thing to do to mention. 
And we're almost 10 minutes, so I'm trying to think of anything else. The Birchwood Trail has been mentioned, Memorial Park, and maybe uh, floating the Broad River, which is really not in Athens, but it's up in Madison County. The Broad River Outpost has been a fun thing to do for years. You go up there, you rent your kayak, you bring it, you rent your canoe. Uh, maybe you bring a beverage and you just kind of slow float down the river. They'll pick you up on a bus. The other thing is beware because there are some rapids. A lot of it's kind of like a lazy river, and then out of nowhere, kaboom, you're go, you're shooting uh, down the rapids, but it's a really fun thing to do. So, um, you know, follow us. Like I said, subscribe. We're going to give you information on the community. Real estate updates, homes for sale, investment properties for sale, and all things Athens will be a resource for you on our YouTube channel, Homes for Sale in Athens, Georgia, and, of course, our website, 5 com. If you got any questions, look below in the comments. You'll find our contact information, athensga at 5 com, and our phone number. I hope this was helpful and you'll go do some of these things in our community.